gosh. Get Can your you get feet of off the shot? table. <laughs> you are not on the, this is where you eat. Down. Nicole Mancuso, tell us again, how do you get your hair so poofy? <laughs> Wash it and then make it as dirty as possible. You've got to dream big. Oh, don't dream at all. High five, Tucker. Tucker. High five, buddy. High five. You can High five. Oh. High five. Oh. High five. Exactly. Come on. Good boy. One more. Like... All right, and from Tucker. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hi. Hey, we're gonna talk about uh, our experiences at on the beach RV park. On the beach RV park. So cool. And Tucker remembers too, because Tucker went with us. Tucker went on the beach RV park, didn't you, Tucker? And as the name might suggest, it is actually almost kind of on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. This is really cool RV park down in um, on Mustang Island, uh, across from Port Aransas, and uh, we had a nice little trip out there. And so uh, we're going to talk about it. And uh, we've got some footage to show you. And the uh, cool thing was, it was this little guy's first time on the beach. Yep. Which yep. is why he's in the video, back and forth, poking in and out. Uh, he's really excited. He just loves going camping and he enjoyed himself down on the beach. So, first things first, it's a bit of a drive from the Metro. Oh gosh, yes. But that's because Texas is big, right? Yes. Yeah. So you gotta get all the way down towards Corpus Christi, but if you're heading that way anyways, one of the coolest thing about the beaches down there is that you can drive on the beach itself. You can actually drive on it, yep. So you could just camp on the beach, you don't need an RV park. That's right, you actually don't have to have a place. You just go drive up and find a spot and park. You have to have a parking pass, but. You get a beach permit, you can park there. Three, do three days out of any 14 days, I believe it is, you can camp right there on the beach and a lot of folks do super cheap yeah yeah a lot of folks do yeah but there are some times where you might want to have an rv park to hook up and plug in and what might that be i think if your generator is not working <laughs> that's a one. good reason to go get an rv park yeah hot summer hot summer yeah even, so you can get your ac running the whole time even if your generator is working it gets hot on the texas coast it does. In the summer. Yes. And muggy. Yes. So if you want to plug in and you want to be all connected up and have showers and the whole bit, it's uh, pretty convenient to go up there to on the beach. Yes. And they're doing some really cool upgrades, so stick around to the end of the video. We will tell you about their cool updates that are coming actually fall of 2023. Yes. Yeah, so new, 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 new stuff. Very new. Yes. Yeah. So very cool. All right. So, um, Let's do Nikki's three faves, right? Already, we're going right into it. Yes. All right. Okay, so, what was your number three fave for on the beach RV park? Oh gosh, my number three favorite. You know, I liked the area. I liked where it was at. We got to walk down to a convenience store. They had everything at that store. Um, and you know what? It was a happening place. There was a lot of vacationers out there. It was fun. You could hear people laughing and cheering. It, it was a really nice time. So location was great. Location was great, yes. All right. And number two fave. <laughs> My number two favorite thing about the park, it was pet friendly. There's a lot of other dogs. Everybody's taking care of their dogs. And, uh, you know, Tucker seemed to love it. So that yeah. part was great. Pet friendly for sure. They're yeah. very, uh, very pet friendly there. And it's easy just right outside the area on both sides to have a nice little dog walk spot for Fido and then uh, yeah. up and down the beach too. You can have pets on the beach. So talking to you Gulf Shores. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice, really fun. Most folks were being good about the leash rules, having your dog on a leash. Some folks still put them off the leash because you know, their dogs are special. And you know who you are. <laughs> Look, all of our dogs are special, but the leash rules are there for a reason. Yes. So yes. if you don't, they'll chase and they did kind of chase Tucker a little bit. So yes. Yes. That's, and that's the thing. It's not just that the park was dog friendly, the beach, the whole area was dog friendly. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like we had to leave them in the car and us go somewhere. 
he we could take them everywhere. That's so cool. that part was great. Even restaurants would let you walk your dog up to the patio. Yeah, eat. there's so, six or seven dog friendly restaurants there. Super for, dog friendly. You can yeah. check that out on bringfido.com and yeah. uh, take a look at some of the dog friendly restaurants. Okay, now that takes us to your number one. Number one fave. Of course. About on the beach RV park is. It's on the beach. Surprise. It's on the beach. You seriously could walk from the camper 25, 50 steps, you're right there on the beach. It was incredible. You, Absolutely awesome. You could hear it with the windows open. You yep. could hear the surf. You could hear the waves, yeah. You mm -hmm. could feel the breeze. And you're just steps. Seriously, steps. Literally from the, steps from, from the ocean. Yeah, from the, the bay. From the gulf. Yeah, the gulf. Yes. <laughs> the ocean, the bay, the golf, that thing, where it's wet. The water. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. It's, and it's well kept, it's well patrolled. Yeah. We went down there, it was not spring break time or something crazy. No. Uh, it, so it was really nice uh, mix of vacationers and locals. It can get busy. So the RV park can get busy and booked up. However, I do think it was more busy than normal because we actually went for the eclipse. So. Mm -hmm. Since we were there for Eclipse, there was a lot of people there for the Eclipse. A lot of people pulling out their glasses whenever the moon came out, so. So we were down there for that. And, you know, we talk about busy season down there and it can get busy down there uh, on the coast. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to book this particular RV park, recommend that you get that uh, in advance. If you're gonna just go camp on the beach, recommend maybe you get out there, not the Friday, mm -hmm. maybe the Thursday. Yes. To get a spot, you know, and make sure that, because they're not reserved out there on the sand on the beach. Um, but we didn't have any trouble booking that. I just went in and there was some availability and, and booked it up. I think I was in there maybe three weeks out, four weeks out, um, where I just thought, hey, this will be fun. We'll go down there and do that. Mm -hmm. And we needed a little scouting activity we did down there too, looking at different RV places. So, um, but I would recommend maybe booking it in advance. You probably should, because it is a cool little spot. It's a hip happening place, Absolutely. man. Mustang Island, Port Aransas, all really cool. Yes, but you want to go back? Want to go Mustang Island? Want to go camping? For the beach? <laughs> really? For the beach? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> and <laughs> you, um, yeah, so maybe call ahead and check it out. But uh, I could say that we highly recommend it as a, as a no-nonsense, nice, kind of has a family run feel to it although i understand it was bought up by a larger group and that's where the expansion kind of mm -hmm. came in um but just a cool place we did talk to some neighbors there mm -hmm. who'd been going for 30 years at that same place mm -hmm. and they talked about the changes in the contrast over time but they still liked it and they were still going down there you know it was in a beautiful area they had um the dunes right there lots of photo opportunities lots of wildlife um what about seashells? People that like to get seashells, is that an okay place for that? Yeah, not as many seashells as what I've seen in places, but we found some pretty cool ones, yeah. It's pretty busy, so I imagine the one day I got up with him and walked before, way before sunrise, and uh, it was a little bit better, but it wasn't particularly stormy, and yeah. there were so many folks out that a lot of the shells had already been kind of combed up, but there was some stuff there, sand dollars and things you kind of get used to seeing out there. Yep. A lot of folks fishing. Yep, a lot mm -hmm. of folks. And there was um, planes going overhead. A uh, little, I guess they were, I don't know what kind of planes they were. Airplanes. <laughs> but, but I don't know if they were giving people tours or what it was, but it was just a very vacation-y spot. It was fun. They yeah. were they were picking people up in the field and flying them out over the water and flying back. So. Yeah, I think they were tours. Kind of sound like you're being strafed the whole time when you're sitting there, you know. Not not the whole time, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So people overall, doing bonfires even. People doing oh. bonfires on the beach at night, which is really cool. We have to do that next time. Bring some wood with us. Sit out on the beach with some friends and... That would be really neat. I really, 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 really like this place. So you, we don't have to bring the wood. We got a Rialta, man. You don't want to pack all that stuff. There's a that Texas store right down the street. That's they true. sell it at the campground. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to pay a few bucks extra for the firewood, but you're supposed to get your wood local. That way you don't introduce any That's weird true. creatures and stuff. And uh, it, it's way more convenient than trying to haul it in your Rialta. You got enough weight on your axles already. These things are not made to haul all that stuff. So. Just buy your wood local, dig a little pit in the sand and 
and go out there. Yep, and they even had a little buggy place. What are those things called? Four wheelers, whatever. Yeah, little golf carts golf or whatnot. Golf carts that you could rent right next door too. So if you need one of those for the three days you're there, very convenient to get one of those. That's another cool feature of the, the park, but also probably any campground around the area mm -hmm is especially if you're in a Rialto, when you hook everything up and it's all leveled and you're good to go and you're, you're set up, you might not want to unhook and drive around town. We can because we're small and that's one of the benefits of not having a big old Class C or Class A. Absolutely. But if you want to, you just text with your phone and these cats will bring you a golf cart to your location you can rent one yep. and you can get anywhere on the island yeah and there's a lots cart. of places to go when you have a golf cart souvenir so. shop and clothes shop and food shop uh, and fresh fresh fish fresh meat everything you want you can get whatever you want plus regular chain stores yeah car parts you name it um really really easy to go so the folks are friendly everything was good we enjoyed it immensely two thumbs up, two thumbs up and it wasn't a whole bunch of money no uh, no Fairly, fairly affordable. You'll have to check the rates and I'll give you rates on a video because yeah, they'll change. That's true. Um, but we could say on the beach RV park, we like staying on the beach. We like staying close to the beach. We are some of our favorites in Biloxi and, and Pensacola and this one too. Mm -hmm. And so we just wanted to let you know. So if you get the chance, go down there and enjoy yourselves. If you're heading that way, let us know. Maybe we'll come meet you down there. There you go. Coolest park next to you if you're a Rialta. And then uh, last but not least, we promised you we talked to you about their upcoming plans and expansion. So yes. let's talk about that a little bit. We saw the beginnings of it when we were there, but what are they working on? A big concreted RV pads next door. So mm -hmm. they've got some that are 30 feet by 70 inches wide, big, big rig pads. They just put in, so basically almost, probably not doubled, but at least a third again, two thirds again, the size of the RV park. Mm -hmm. And so what that's going to do is allow folks with bigger class C's or super C's or class A's and totes to really have room to pull through. True. And it's all brand new. It's all wired and plumbed in brand new and brand new concrete. So uh, you can start to reserve those. Uh, and it's all it's all probably laid out on the website. How are the bathrooms? Uh, the bathrooms are fine, actually. Did little, you like just it? Just a little single bathroom yeah no problem shower's good better than i still think better than a state park bathroom <laughs> not saying a whole lot yeah yeah i mean it wasn't fancy but it wasn't awful you know it was okay it's good it's a nice restroom is air conditioned yes or heated yes. depending on the season yeah they got a nice little gift shop up front they can receive your amazon packages and deliveries up front and uh and there's somebody on site uh, every day we saw somebody on site going around to help you out with stuff. Yeah, and you know the cool thing also about that area is uh, there's a lot of vacation housing. So if you want to get a house for the family or whatever and you bring your Rialto or whatever, you can actually bring the huge groups out there too because there's a lot of vacation housing. I think there's a hotel. Wasn't there a hotel right there? Yeah, just down the way. Hotel right there. So you could do a whole family reunion down there or whatever. So. It was just a neat vacation spot for Aransas Pass area. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, so next time we have friends that are going down to Port A, maybe we will go grab a spot there. Yeah. And jump in a golf cart and just roll on over to see them or let them come see us. Yep. But yeah, we, we had a good time. It yep. was nice. The weather was, was chill. Yes. And, uh, we and Tucker enjoyed it. Did you have a good time on yeah. the beach? You got to run in the ocean. Yeah, was it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Hey, uh, if you get a chance, go down there and say hey and, and uh, enjoy yourselves. If not, wherever you're going uh, for the next couple of weeks till we see you again, we hope you have a good time. Safe travels to you. And don't forget, God is good. All the time. All the time. All right, that's it. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.